When do meteor showers occur? There are a number of groups of meteoroids orbiting the Sun just as Earth is. When Earth's orbit intercepts the path of one of these swarms of meteoroids, some of them enter Earth's atmosphere. When friction with the air causes a meteoroid to burn up, the streak, or shooting star, that is produced is called a meteor. Large numbers of meteors can produce a spectacular shower of light in the night sky. Meteor showers are named for the constellation that occupies the area of the sky from which they originate. Listed below are 10 meteor showers and the dates during the year during which they can be seen. When will the sun die? The sun is approximately 4.5 billion years old. About 5 billion years from now, the sun will have burned all of its hydrogen fuel into helium. As this process occurs, the sun will change from the yellow dwarf as we know it to a red giant. Its diameter will extend well beyond the orbit of Venus, and even possibly beyond the orbit of Earth. In either case, Earth will be burned to a cinder. What are the three main groups of rocks? Rocks can be conveniently placed into one of three groups igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Igneous rocks, such as granite, pegmatite, rhyolite, obsidian, gabbro, and basalt, are formed by the solidification of molten magma that emerges through Earth's crust via volcanic activity. The nature and properties of the crystals vary greatly depending in part on the composition of the original magma and partly on the conditions under which the magma solidified. There are thousands of different igneous rock types. For example, granite is formed by slow cooling of molten material within the earth. It has large crystals of quartz, feldspars, and mica. Sedimentary rocks, such as breccia, sandstone, shale, limestone, chert, and coals, are produced by the accumulation of sediments. These are fine rock particles or fragments, skeletons of microscopic organisms, or minerals leached from rocks that have accumulated from weathering. These sediments are then redeposited underwater and later compressed in layers over time. The most common sedimentary rock is sandstone, which is predominantly quartz crystals. Metamorphic rocks, such as marble, slate, schist, gneiss, quartzite, and hornsful, are formed by the alteration of igneous and sedimentary rocks through heat and slash or pressure. One example of these physical and chemical changes is the formation of marble from thermal changes in limestone. When and where did the concept of numbers and counting first develop? The human adult, 
including some of the higher animals. Can discern the numbers 1 through 4 without any training. After that people must learn to count. To count requires a system of number manipulation skills. A scheme to name the numbers, and some way to record the numbers. Early people began with fingers and toes, and progressed to shells and pebbles. In the 4th millennium BCE in Elam, near what is today Iran along the Persian Gulf. Accountants began using unbaked clay tokens instead of pebbles. Each represented one order in a numbering system. A stick shape for the number 1, a pellet for 10, a ball for 100, and so on. During the same period, another clay-based civilization in Sumer in Lower Mesopotamia invented the same system. Which risk factors affect one's health? Such characteristics as age, gender, work, family history, behavior, and body chemistry are some of the factors to consider when deciding whether one is at risk for various conditions. Some risk factors are statistical, describing trends among large groups of people but not giving information about what will happen to individuals. Other risk factors might be described as causative exposure to them. Has a direct effect on whether or not the person will become sick. What conditions must be met in order to see a rainbow? There are two main conditions for witnessing a rainbow. The first is that the observer must be between the sun and the water droplets. The water droplets can either be rain, mist from a waterfall, or the spray of a garden hose. The second condition is that the angle between the sun, the water droplets, and the observer's eyes must be between 40 degrees and 42 degrees. Therefore, rainbows are most easily seen when the sun is close to the horizon so the rays striking the droplets are close to horizontal. What is an algorithm? An algorithm is a set of clearly defined rules and instructions for the solution of a problem. It is not necessarily applied only in computers, but can be a step-by-step -step procedure for solving any particular kind of problem. A nearly 4,000-year-old Babylonian banking calculation inscribed on a tablet is an algorithm as is a computer program that consists of step-by-step -step procedures for solving a problem. The term is derived from the name of Muhammad ibn Musa al-Kharizmi, C780-C850. A Baghdad mathematician who introduced Hindu numerals, including zero, and decimal calculation to the West when his treatise was translated into Latin in the 12th century. The art of computation with Arabic, Hindu, numerals became known as algorithm.
What is limnology? Limnology is the study of freshwater ecosystems especially lakes, ponds, and streams. These ecosystems are more fragile than marine environments since they are subject to great extremes in temperature. F.A. Farrell, 1848-1931, a Swiss professor, has been called the father of limnology. What is the Milky Way? The Milky Way is a hazy band of light that can be seen encircling the night sky. This light comes from the stars that make up the Milky Way galaxy. The galaxy to which the Sun and Earth belong. Galaxies are huge systems of stars separated from one another by largely empty space. Astronomers estimate that the Milky Way galaxy contains at least 100 billion stars and is about 100. 000 light years in diameter. The galaxy is shaped like a compact disk with a central bulge. Or nucleus and spiral arms curving out from the center. Who were the congenitally joined twins who gave rise to the term Siamese twins? The term Siamese twins originated with the appearance of Chang and Ang Bunker, 1811-1874. Conjoined Chinese twins born in Siam, now Thailand, who were used as a circus attraction by P. T. Barnum, 1810-1891. Siamese twins are identical twins joined at some point of their bodies. Most commonly at the hip, chest, abdomen, buttocks, or head. Like other identical twins, they originate from a single fertilized egg, in the case of congenitally joined twins. However, the egg fails to split into two separate cell masses at the proper time. The condition is relatively rare, only about 500 cases have been reported worldwide. Surgery to separate Siamese twins is a complex task and often results in the death of one or both of the twins. Does water running down a drain rotate in a different direction in the northern versus the southern hemisphere? There is a widespread belief that water draining from a bathtub, sink, or toilet bowl in the northern hemisphere swirls counterclockwise while in the southern hemisphere the water drains clockwise due to the Coriolis effect. First described by the French mathematician and engineer Gaspard Gustave de Coriolis, 1792-1843. The Coriolis effect is the apparent deflection of air masses and fluids caused by Earth's rotation. Although it does have an effect on fluids over great distances or long lengths of time. Such as hurricanes, it is too weak to control fluids on a small scale, such as bathtubs, sinks, or toilet bowls. These can drain in either direction in both hemispheres. 
the direction is determined by numerous factors including the shape of the container. The shape of the drain, the initial water velocity and the tilt of the sink. Who is the founder of the science of magnetism? The English scientist William Gilbert, 1544-1603 Regarded Earth as a giant magnet and investigated its magnetic field in terms of dip and variation. He explored many other magnetic and electrostatic phenomena. The Gilbert, GB, a unit of magnetism, is named for him. John H. Van Vleck, 1899-1980 An American physicist, made significant contributions to modern magnetic theory. He explained the magnetic, electrical, and optical properties of many elements and compounds with the ligand field theory. Demonstrated the effect of temperature on paramagnetic materials. Called Van Vleck paramagnetism, and developed a theory on the magnetic properties of atoms and their components. At what speeds do fishes swim? The maximum swimming speed of a fish is somewhat determined by the shape of its body and tail and by its internal temperature. The cosmopolitan sailfish, Istiophorus platypterus, is considered to be the fastest fish species. At least for short distances, swimming at greater than 60 miles, 95 kilometers, per hour. Some American fishermen believe, however, that the bluefin tuna, Thunnus thinnus, is the fastest, but the fastest speed recorded for them so far is 43.4 miles, 69.8 kilometers, per hour. Data is extremely difficult to secure because of the practical difficulties in measuring the speeds. The yellowfin tuna, Thunnus albicares, and the Waioi, Acanthocybium solandri, are also fast. Timed at 46.35 miles, 74.5 kilometers, per hour and 47.88 miles, 77 kilometers, per hour during 10 to 20 second sprints. Flying fish swim at more than 40 miles, over 64 kilometers, per hour, dolphins at 37 miles, 60 kilometers, per hour, trout at 15 miles, 24 kilometers, per hour, and Blenny at 5 miles, 8 kilometers, per hour. Humans can swim 5.19 miles, 8.3 kilometers, per hour. What are some of the accomplishments achieved in reducing air pollution since the Clean Air Act was passed in 1970? One of the goals of the EPA was to set national air quality standards for six common air pollutants carbon monoxide. Lead nitrogen dioxide, ozone, particulate matter, and sulfur dioxide. Since passage of the Clean Air Act in 1970, the amount of these six pollutants in the air has decreased by more than 50%. Other accomplishments are, 
the reduction by nearly 70% of air toxics from large industrial sources. Chemical plants, petroleum refineries, and paper mills. New cars are more than 90% cleaner production of most ozone depleting chemicals has ceased. What is the Konigsberg Bridge problem? The city of Konigsberg was located in Prussia on the Prejal River. Two islands in the river were connected by seven bridges. By the 18th century, it had become a tradition for the citizens of Konigsberg to go for a walk through the town trying to cross each bridge only once. No one was able to succeed and the question was asked whether it was possible to do so. In 1736, Leonard Euler, 1707-1783, proved that it was not possible to cross the Konigsberg bridges only once. Euler's solution led to the development of two new areas of mathematics, graph theory which deals with questions about networks of points that are connected by lines, and topology, which is the study of those aspects of the shape of an object that do not depend on length measurements. What are organelles? Organelles frequently called little organs are found in all eukaryotic cells. They are specialized, membrane-bound, cellular structures that perform a specific function. Why is El Nino harmful? Along the west coast of South America, near the end of each calendar year, a warm current of nutrient poor tropical water moves southward, replacing the cold, nutrient rich surface water. Because this condition frequently occurs around Christmas, local residents call it El Nino. Spanish for child, referring to the Christ child. In most years the warming lasts for only a few weeks. However, when El Nino conditions last for many months, the economic results can be catastrophic. It is this extended episode of extremely warm water that scientists now refer to as El Nino. During a severe El Nino, large numbers of fish and marine plants may die. Decomposition of the dead material depletes the water's oxygen supply, which leads to the bacterial production of huge amounts of smelly hydrogen sulfide. A greatly reduced fish, especially anchovy, harvest affects the world's fish meal supply, leading to higher prices for poultry and other animals that normally are fed fish meal. Anchovies and sardines are also major food sources for marine mammals, such as sea lions and seals. When the food source is in short supply, these animals travel farther from their homes in search of food. Not only do many sea lions and seals starve, but also a large proportion of the infant animals die. The major El Nino event of 1997 to 1998 indirectly caused two 100 human deaths and 33 billion dollars in damage globally.
How much has recycling of municipal solid waste grown since 1960? In 1960 the recycling rate was 6.4%. It has grown to 33.2% in 2008. On average, Americans recycled and composted 1.5 pounds. 0.7 kilograms, of our individual waste generation of 4.5 pounds, 2 kilograms, per person per day. What is slag? Slag is a non-metallic byproduct of iron production that is drawn from the surface of pig iron in the blast furnace. Slag can also be produced in smelting copper, lead, and other metals. Slag from steel blast furnaces contains lime, iron oxide, and silica. The slag from copper and lead smelting furnaces contains iron silicate and oxides of other metals in small amounts. Slag is used in cements, concrete, and roofing materials as well as ballast for roads and railways. What is a monkey ball tree? The Osage orange tree, Maclura pomifer, produces large, green, orange like fruits. The fruit is roughly spherical, 3.5 to 5 inches. 8.8 .8 to 12.7 centimeters in diameter and have a coarse pebbly surface who invented the thermometer The Greeks of Alexandria knew that air expanded as it was heated. Hero of Alexandria, 1st century CE. And Philo of Byzantium made simple thermoscopes, but they were not real thermometers. In 1592, Galileo Galilei, 1564-1642, made a kind of thermometer that also functioned as a barometer. And in 1612 his friend Santorio Santorio, 1561-1636, adapted the air thermometer. A device in which a colored liquid was driven down by the expansion of air. To measure the body's temperature change during illness and recovery. Still, it was not until 1713 that Daniel Fahrenheit. 1686 to 1736, began developing a thermometer with a fixed scale. He worked out his scale from two fixed points. The melting point of ice and the heat of the healthy human body. He realized that the melting point of ice was a constant temperature. Whereas the freezing point of water varied. Fahrenheit put his thermometer into a mixture of ice, water, and salt, which he marked off as zero degrees. And using this as a starting point, marked off melting ice at 32 degrees and blood heat at 96 degrees. In 1835, it was discovered that normal blood measured 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. 
sometimes Fahrenheit used spirit of wine as the liquid in the thermometer tube. But more often he used specially purified mercury. Later, the boiling point of water, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, became the upper fixed point. How do rainbows occur? A rainbow is a spectrum of light formed when sunlight interacts with droplets. Upon entering a water droplet, the white light is refracted, and dispersed. That is, spread apart into its individual wavelengths, just as in a prism. The light inside the droplet then reflects against the back of the water droplet before it refracts and disperses as it exits the droplet. The angle between entering and leaving is 40 degrees for blue light, 42 degrees for red. What is Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi is a wireless local area network. The Wi-Fi Alliance certifies that network devices comply with the appropriate standard. IEEE 802.11 a Wi-Fi hotspot is the geographic boundary covered by a Wi-Fi access point. There were estimates that at the end of 2009 there were more than a quarter million public hotspots. What is an aquifer? Some rocks of the upper part of Earth's crust contain many small holes, or pores. When these holes are large or are joined together so that water can flow through them easily. The rock is considered to be permeable. A large body of permeable rock in which water is stored and flows through is called an aquifer. From the Latin for water and to bear. Sandstones and gravels are excellent examples of permeable rock. What is the frequency that separates animal hearing from human? The frequency of a sound is the pitch. Frequency is expressed in hertz or hertz. Sounds are classified as infrasounds, below the human range of hearing, sonic range. Within the range of human hearing, and ultrasound, above the range of human hearing. How is dry ice made? Dry ice is a solid form of carbon dioxide, CO2. Used primarily to refrigerate perishables that are being transported from one location to another. The carbon dioxide, which at normal temperatures is a gas, is stored and shipped as a liquid in tanks that are pressurized at 1,073 pounds per square inch. To make dry ice, the carbon dioxide liquid is withdrawn from the 
tank and allowed to evaporate at a normal pressure in a porous bag. This rapid evaporation consumes so much heat that part of the liquid CO2 freezes to a temperature of minus 109 degrees Fahrenheit minus 78 degrees Celsius. The frozen liquid is then compressed by machines into blocks of dry ice. Which will melt into a gas again when set out at room temperature. It was first made commercially in 1925 by the Pressed Air Devices Company of Long Island City. New York, through the efforts of Thomas Benton Slade. It was used by Schraps of New York in July 1925 to keep ice cream from melting. The first large sale of dry ice was made later in that year to Brayer Ice Cream Company of New York. Although used mostly as a refrigerant or coolant, other uses include medical procedures such as freezing warts. Blast cleaning, freeze branding animals, and creating special effects for live performances and films. What gives coral their colors? Coral have a symbiotic relationship with zooxanthellae. Zooxanthellae are photosynthetic dinoflagellates, one-celled animals. That give coral their characteristic colors of pink, purple, and green. Coral that have expelled the zooxanthellae appear white. What did NASA mean when it said Voyager 1 and 2 would take a grand tour of the planets? Once every 176 years the giant outer planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune align themselves in such a pattern that a spacecraft launched from Earth to Jupiter at just the right time might be able to visit the other three planets on the same mission. A technique called gravity assist used each planet's gravity as a power boost to point Voyager toward the next planet. The first opportune year for the Grand Tour was 1977. When does the green flash phenomenon occur? On rare occasions, the sun may look bright green for a moment, as the last tip of the sun is setting. This green flash occurs because the red rays of light are hidden. Below the horizon and the blue are scattered in the atmosphere. The green rays are seldom seen because of dust and pollution in the lower atmosphere. It may best be seen when the air is cloudless and when a distant, well defined horizon exists, as on an ocean. What is aromatherapy? Holistic medicine looks at the health of the whole individual. And treatments emphasize the connection of mind, body, and spirit. Aromatherapy involves using particular scents derived from essential oils to influence emotions and to treat and cure minor ailments.
it is based on the fact that the olfactory and emotional centers of the body are connected. By inhaling different aromas, emotional concerns as well as physical complaints are said to be eased. The term aromatherapy was first used by René Maurice Gattafossi. 1881-1950, a French perfume chemist. He discovered the healing powers of lavender oil following a laboratory accident during which he burned his hand. Gattafossi began to investigate the properties of lavender oil and other essential oils and published a book on plant extracts. During aromatherapy treatments, essential oils are absorbed through breath or the pores of the skin. This process triggers certain physiological responses. What is a philosopher's stone? A philosopher's stone is the name of a substance believed by medieval alchemists to have the power to change baser metals into gold or silver. It had, according to some, the power of prolonging life and of curing all injuries and diseases. The pursuit of it by alchemists led to the discovery of several chemical substances. However, the magical philosopher's stone has since proved fictitious. When did the use of lead-free fuel become mandatory in the United States? The sale of leaded gasoline for motor vehicles ended in 1996. All vehicles manufactured after July 1974 for sale in the United States were required to use unleaded gasoline. Why is some hair curly while some hair is straight? The shape of the hair follicle determines how wavy a hair will be. Round follicles produce straight hair. Oval follicles produce wavy hair. Flat follies produce curly hair. What is the central processing unit of a computer? The central processing unit, CPU, of a computer is where almost all computing takes place in all computers including mainframes, desktops, laptops, and servers. The CPU of almost every computer is contained on a single chip. How is Henry David Thoreau associated with the environment? Henry David Thoreau, 1817-1862, was a writer and naturalist from New England. His most familiar work, Walden, describes the time he spent in a cabin near Walden Pond in Massachusetts. He is also known for being one of the first to write and lecture on the topic of forest succession. His work, along with that of John Muir, 1838-1914, and others, 
has served to inspire those others to understand the natural world and provide for its conservation. How did the discovery of bacteria impact the theory of spontaneous generation? The theory of spontaneous generation proposes that life can arise spontaneously from non-living matter. One of the first scientists to challenge the theory of spontaneous generation was the Italian physician Francesco Ritti, 1626-1698. Ritti performed an experiment to show that meat placed in covered containers, either glass-covered or gauze-covered, remained free of maggots. While meat left in an uncovered container eventually became infested with maggots from flies laying their eggs on the meat. After the discovery of microorganisms by Anton von Leeuwenhoek, the controversy surrounding spontaneous generation was renewed. As it had been assumed that food became spoiled by organisms arising spontaneously within food. In 1776 Lazaro Spallanzani, 1729-1799 showed that no growth occurred in flasks that were boiled after sealing. The Controversy Over the Theory of Spontaneous Generation was finally resolved in 1861 by Louis Pasteur, 1822-1895. He showed that the microorganisms found in spoiled food were similar to those found in the air. He concluded that the microorganisms that caused food to spoil were from the air and did not spontaneously arise. What is urea and where is it produced? During the process of metabolizing proteins, the body produces ammonia. Ammonia combines with carbon dioxide to form urea. The human body can tolerate 100,000 times more urea than ammonia. It is the most abundant organic waste produced in the body and it is eliminated by the kidneys. Humans generate about 0.75 ounces, 21 grams, of urea each day. How is the value of a diamond determined? Demand, beauty, durability, rarity, freedom from defects. And perfection of cutting generally determine the value of a gemstone. But the major factor in establishing the price of gem diamonds is the control over output and price as exercised by the Central Selling Organizations, CSO, Diamond Trading Corporation Ltd. The CSO is a subsidiary of De Beers Consolidated Mines Ltd. Where are the northernmost and southernmost points of land? The most northern point of land is Cape Morris K. Jessup on the northeastern extremity of Greenland. It is at 83 degrees, 39 minutes north latitude and is 440 miles, 
708 kilometers, from the North Pole. However, the Guinness Book of Records reports that an islet of 100 feet 30 meters, across, called Udak, is more northerly at 83 degrees. 40 minutes north latitude and 438.9 miles, 706 kilometers, from the North Pole. The southernmost point of land is the South Pole, since the South Pole, unlike the North Pole, is on land. In the United States, the northernmost point of land is Point Barrow, Alaska, 71 degrees. 23 minutes north latitude, and the southernmost point of land is Kalat or South Cape. 18 degrees, 55 minutes north latitude, on the island of Hawaii. In the 48 contiguous states. The northernmost point is Northwest Angle, Minnesota, 49 degrees, 23 minutes north latitude. The southernmost point is Key West, Florida, 24 degrees, 33 minutes north latitude. What are the greenhouse gases? Scientists recognize carbon dioxide, CO2, methane, CH4, chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, nitrous oxide, N20, and water vapor as significant greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases account for less than 1% of Earth's atmosphere. These gases trap heat in Earth's atmosphere preventing the heat from escaping back into space. Human activities, such as using gasoline in automobiles for fuel, account for the release of carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxides. What is the Beaufort scale? The Beaufort scale was devised in 1805 by a British admiral. Sir Francis Beaufort, 1774-1857, to help mariners in handling ships. It uses a series of numbers from 0 to 17 to indicate wind speeds and applies to both land and sea. Is light a wave or a particle? Scientists have debated for centuries whether light is a wave or a particle. Isaac Newton, 1642-1727, was one of the early proponents of the particulate. Or corpuscular, theory of light. According to this theory, light travels as a stream of particles that come from a source, such as the sun, travel to an object and are then reflected to an observer. One of the early proponents of the wave theory of light was Dutch physicist Christian Huygens, 1629-1695. According to the wave theory of light, light travels through space in the form of a wave, similar to water waves. Albert Einstein's work in 1905 showed that light is a bundle of tiny particles, called photons. Scientists now believe that light has properties of both waves and particles. Explained as wave-particle duality.
What are some practical applications of superconductivity? A variety of uses have been proposed for superconductivity in fields as diverse as electronics, transportation, and power. Research continues to develop more powerful, more efficient electric motors and devices that measure extremely small magnetic fields for medical diagnosis. The field of electric power transmission has much to gain by developing superconducting materials since 15% of the electricity generated must be used to overcome the resistance of traditional copper wire. More powerful electromagnets will be utilized to build high-speed magnetically levitated trains, known as maglovs. What materials are the best and worst conductors of electricity? Electrical conductivity is the ability of a material to transmit current or the movement of charged particles, most often protons. Materials that carry the flow of electrical current are called conductors. Metals, such as silver and aluminum, are some of the best conductors of electricity. Other good conductors of electricity are copper and gold. Materials that do not permit the flow of electrical current are called non-conductors or insulators. Wood, paper, and most plastics are examples of insulators. Resistance is defined as the extent to which a material prevents the flow of electricity. Materials with a low resistance have a high conductivity. While those with a high resistance have a low conductivity. German physicist George Simon Ohm 1789 to 1854 was the first to describe the laws of electrical conductivity and resistance. What accounts for the different colors of bird feathers? The vivid color of feathers is of two kinds, pigmentary and structural. Red, orange and yellow feathers are colored by pigments called lipochromes deposited in the feather barbules as they are formed. Black, brown and gray colors are from another pigment, melanin. Blue feathers depend not on pigment but on scattering of shorter wavelengths of light by particles within the feather. These are structural feathers. Green colors are almost always a combination of yellow pigment and blue feather structure. Another kind of structural color is the beautiful iridescent color of many birds which ranges from red, orange, copper, and gold to green, blue, and violet. Iridescent color is based on interference that causes light waves to reinforce, weaken, or eliminate each other. Iridescent colors may change with the angle of view. Do all birds fly? Oh. 
Among the flightless birds, the penguins and the ratites are the best known. Ratites include emus, kiwis, ostriches, rheas, and cassowaries. They are called ratite because they lack a keel on the breastbone. All of these birds have wings but lost their power to fly millions of years ago. Many birds that live isolated on oceanic islands, for example, the great auk, apparently became flightless in the absence of predators and the consequent gradual disuse of their wings for escape. How many tornadoes occur in the United States each year? There are about 1,000 tornadoes in the United States each year. Compiling an actual average is difficult since reporting methods have changed over the last several decades so the officially recorded tornado climatologies are believed to be incomplete. Some tornadoes, especially ones that cause little or no damage in remote areas, may not be reported. The three-year average for 2007 to 2009 is 1,316 tornadoes per year. The largest single outbreak of tornadoes occurred on April 3 and 4, 1974. 148 tornadoes were recorded in this super outbreak in the Great Plains and Midwestern states. Six of these tornadoes had winds greater than 260 miles, 420 kilometers per hour and some of them were the strongest ever recorded. What is carpal tunnel syndrome? Carpal tunnel syndrome occurs when a branch of the median nerve in the forearm is compressed at the wrist as it passes through the tunnel formed by the wrist bones or carpals and a ligament that lies just under the skin. The syndrome occurs most often in middle age and more so in women than men. The symptoms are intermittent at first then become constant. Numbness and tingling begin in the thumb and first two fingers. Then the hand and sometimes the whole arm becomes painful. Treatment involves wrist splinting, weight loss, and control of edema. Treatments for arthritis may help also. If not, a surgical procedure in which the ligament at the wrist is cut can relieve pressure on the nerve. Those who work continuously with computer keyboards are particularly vulnerable to carpal tunnel syndrome. To minimize the risk of developing this problem, operators should keep their wrists straight as they type, rather than tilting the hands up. It is also best to place the keyboard at a lower position than a standard desktop. How serious is damage to the spleen? Damage to the spleen which is often the result of an injury caused by a blow to the left side of the abdomen, may be life-threatening. Since the spleen is a fragile organ, an injury can easily rupture it, resulting in serious internal bleeding, hemorrhaging, circulatory shock, and even death. 
Once the spleen ruptures, the only remedy is to surgically remove it in a procedure called a splenectomy. How much fluid do the kidneys remove from the blood? The kidneys filter about 48 gallons, 182 liters of blood daily and produce about 4 ounces of filtrate per minute. About 1.5 to 2 quarts, 1.4 to 1.9 liters of urine is eventually excreted per day. The entire blood supply is filtered through the kidneys 60 times per day. The kidneys in a person living 73 years filter almost 1.3 million gallons of blood. How much wood is in a cord? A cord of wood is a pile of logs 4 feet. 1.2 meters wide 4 feet 1.2 meters high and 8 feet 2.4 meters long it may contain from 77 to 96 cubic feet of wood the larger the unsplit logs the larger the gaps with fewer cubic feet of wood actually in the cord Burning one full cord of wood produces the same amount of energy as one ton of coal. Which industries use the most aluminum in the United States? Aluminum is important in all segments of the world economy. The use of aluminum exceeds that of any other metal except iron measured in both quantity and value. In 2009, 33% of the aluminum used in the United States was in the transportation. Industry for the manufacture of automobiles, trucks, rail cars, marine vessels, and airplanes. Alloys have high tensile strengths and are of considerable industrial importance to the aerospace industry. Because of aluminum's resistance to corrosion, low density, and excellent heat conducting property. 26% of the aluminum was used by the packaging industry for drink and food containers and covers. And foil pouches and wraps in 2009. In 2009, the building construction industry used 14% of aluminum alloys in such items as gutters, panels, siding, window frames, and roofing. It is a good conductor of electricity and is widely used in power and telephone cables. Light bulbs, and electrical equipment. Examples of the numerous other products containing aluminum and aluminum alloys are cookware. Golf clubs, air conditioners, lawn furniture, license plates, paints, refrigerators, rocket fuel, and zippers. How thick is gold leaf? Gold leaf is pure gold that is hammered or rolled into sheets or leaves so extremely thin that it can take 300,000 units to make a stack one inch high. The thickness of a single gold leaf is typically 0.0000035 inch, 3.5 millionths of an inch.
although this may vary widely according to which manufacturer makes it. Also called gold foil, it is used for architectural coverings and for hot embossed printing on leather. From what type of stone was Mount Rushmore National Memorial carved? Granite The monument, in the Black Hills of southwestern South Dakota, depicts the 60-foot high 18-meter high, faces of four United States presidents George Washington, 1732 to 1799. Thomas Jefferson, 1743 to 1826. Abraham Lincoln, 1809 to 1865, and Theodore Roosevelt, 1858 to 1919. Sculptor Gutzon Borglum, 1867 to 1941, designed the monument but died before the completion of the project, his son, Lincoln, finished it. From 1927 to 1941, 360 people, mostly construction workers, drillers, and miners, carved the figures using dynamite. How has the classification of organisms changed throughout history? From Aristotle, 384 to 322 B.C.E., to Carolus Linnaeus, 1707 to 1778, scientists who proposed the earliest. Classification systems divided living organisms into two kingdoms plants and animals. During the 19th century, Ernst Haeckel, 1834-1919, proposed establishing a third kingdom protistophore. Simple organisms that do not appear to fit in either the plant or animal kingdom. In 1969 R. H. Whitaker. 1920 to 1980, proposed a system of classification based on five different kingdoms. The groups Whitaker suggested were the bacteria group Prokaryotae, originally called Munira, Protista, Fungi, for multicellular forms of nonphotosynthetic heterotrophs and single cellate yeasts, Plantae, and Animalia. This classification system is still widely accepted. However a six kingdom system of classification was proposed in 1977 by Carl Woese, 1928. The groups proposed in the six kingdom approach are Archaebacteria and Eubacteria. Both for bacteria, protista, fungi, plantae, and animalia. In 1981 Woese proposed a classification system based on three domains. A level of classification higher than kingdom bacteria, archaea, and eukarya. The domain eukarya is subdivided into four kingdoms, protista, fungi, plantae, and animalia. What plant has the largest leaves? The Monstera, Monstera deliciosa, has dark green. Glossy leaves that measure 2 to 3 feet, 0.6 to 0.9 meter, long when mature.
How thick is the ice that covers Antarctica? The average depth of the ice that covers Antarctica is 6,600 feet, 2,000 meters, or more than a mile thick. In some areas, the ice is as thick as 2 miles, 3 kilometers. Nearly 90% of the world's ice is found in Antarctica. What often happened to hat makers that caused Lewis Carroll to use the expression Matt as a hatter in his Alice in Wonderland? In the 19th century, craftsmen who made hats were known to be excitable and irrational. As well as to tremble with palsy and mix up their words. Such behavior gave rise to familiar expression mad as a hatter. The disorder, called hatter shakes, was caused by chronic mercury poisoning from the solution used to treat the felt. Attacking the central nervous system, the toxin led to the behavioral problems. How much does a barrel of oil weigh? A barrel of oil weighs about 306 pounds, 139 kilograms. The areas of glaciation in some parts of the world are, which is purer, glacier ice or regular ice. Impurities found in the snow grains of glaciers have mostly moved to the boundaries of the grains and been flushed out. Glacier ice is like triple distilled water and hence purer than regular ice. What is the oparin haldane hypothesis? In the 1920s, while working independently, Alexandro Parin, 1894 to 1980, and John Haldane, 1892 to 1964, both proposed scenarios for the prebiotic conditions on Earth. The conditions that would have allowed organic life to evolve. Although they differed on details. Both models described an early Earth with an atmosphere containing ammonia and water vapor. Both also surmised that the assemblage of organic molecules began in the atmosphere and then moved into the seas. The steps of the oparin haldane model are, organic molecules, including amino acids and nucleotides, are synthesized abiotically, without living cells. Organic building blocks in the prebiotic soup are assembled into polymers of proteins and nucleic acids. Biological polymers are assembled into a self-replicating organism that fed on the existing organic molecules. Can a person using an abacus calculate more rapidly than someone using a calculator?
In 1946, the Tokyo Staff of Stars and Stripes sponsored a contest between a Japanese abacus expert and an American accountant using the best electric adding machine then available. The abacus operator proved faster in all calculations except the multiplication of very large numbers. While today's electronic calculators are much faster and easier to use than the adding machines used in 1946. Undocumented tests still show that an expert can add and subtract faster on an abacus than someone using an electronic calculator. It also allows long division and multiplication problems. With more digits than a hand calculator can accommodate. Why was the Michelson-Morley experiment important? This experiment on light waves, first carried out in 1881 by physicists Albert A. 6 Michelson, 1852-1931, and E. W. Morley, 1838-1923, in the United States, is one of the most historically significant experiments in physics and led to the development of Einstein's theory of relativity. The original experiment, using the Michelson interferometer, attempted to detect the velocity of Earth. With respect to the hypothetical luminiferous ether, a medium in space proposed to carry light waves. The procedure measured the speed of light in the direction of Earth and the speed of light at right. Angles to Earth's motion. No difference was found. This result discredited the ether theory and ultimately led to the proposal by Albert Einstein, 1879-1955, that the speed of light is a universal constant. How much of Earth's surface is covered with ice? About 10% of the world's land surface is glaciated, or permanently covered with ice. Approximately 5,712,800 square miles, 14,800,000 square kilometers, are covered by ice in the form of ice sheets, ice caps, or glaciers. An ice sheet is a body of ice that blankets an area of land, completely covering its mountains and valleys. Ice sheets have an area of over 19,000 square miles, 50,000 square kilometers, ice caps are smaller. Glaciers are larger masses of ice that flow, under the force of gravity. At a rate of between 10 and 1,000 feet, 3 to 300 meters, per year. Glaciers on steep slopes flow faster. What is Galena? Galena is a lead sulfide, PBS, and the most common ore of lead, containing 86.6% lead. Lead gray in color, with a brilliant metallic luster, Galena has a specific gravity of 7.5 and a hardness of 2.5 on the most scale. And usually occurs as cubes or a modification of an octahedral form. Mined in Australia, it is also found in Canada, China, Mexico, Peru. 
and the United States, Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, Colorado, Montana, and Idaho. How do fossils form? Fossils are the preserved remains of once living organisms. Fossils form rarely. Since an organism is usually consumed totally or scattered by scavengers after death. If the structures remain intact, fossils can be preserved in amber, hardened tree sap. Siberian permafrost, dry caves, or rock. Rock fossils are the most common. In order to form a rock fossil, three things must happen, the organism must be buried in sediment the hard. Structures must mineralize the sediment surrounding the fossil must harden and become rock. Which American states allow medical marijuana usage? Since 1996, 15 states and the District of Columbia have passed. Laws allowing the use of marijuana for medical purposes. These include Alaska, Arizona, California, Colorado, District of Columbia, Hawaii, Maine, Michigan, Montana, Nevada, New Jersey, New Mexico, Oregon, Rhode Island, Vermont, and Washington. Depending on the state, patients may possess between one ounce, Alaska, Montana, Nevada, to 24 ounces, Oregon, Washington, of usable marijuana and grow their own plants. States also vary on which diseases are approved for treatment using marijuana. Which muscle is the most variable among humans? The platysma muscle in the side of the neck is probably the most variable. It can cover the whole region in some people while in others. It is strap-like or in a few situations it is missing completely. What feature of liverworts hints to their name? Liverworts were named during the Middle Ages. When herbalists followed the theoretical approach known as the doctrine of signatures. The core philosophy of this perspective was that if a plant part resembled a part of the human body. It would be useful in treating ailments of that organ or part. The thallus of thalloid liverworts resembles a lobed liver. Therefore, in line with the philosophy presented by the doctrine, the plant was used to treat liver ailments. The word liver was combined with word, which means herb, to form the name liverwort. 